Hey guys, welcome back to Big Brother Niger Updates. Yes, the show is over, but we also know that the show is not over. <laughs> There's so much that's being said right now that you're know, giving side eye to things that happen in the house. And you're wondering, hmm, did we not watch this show together? Or was it just me? Did I just sit in my house and think up all these things by myself? Anyway, I guess we'll get the answer to those questions sooner than later. Now let's get into it. White Money's fans supposedly gave him 37 million naira, you know, as a way of, oh, we stand you, we love you type thing. Now, apparently, <laughs> judging by this. I don't really understand why you guys will give White Money 37 million and he knows that this money is fake. He still accepts it. That is not nice. That 37 million naira is fake. 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 Uh-huh, as in not real, never existed, not true in any way, shape or form. <laughs> and I don't even know what to make of that information because I, 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 I can't even wrap my head around it. Now, this makes me question whether a lot of your faves and their fans are actually giving them real money. Are they actually giving them real money? You know, all this money bouquet is, is that real money or money that they rented and they're going to give back? Hmm. Yusef, think I'm, think I'm, think I'm. Ask the right questions. If you know who says that, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about friendships. Oh my God. In the house, alliances were formed, friendships were made, but now it looks like maybe those friendships are not really friendships. And sometimes it looks like in the house there were no friendships, but now outside the house, there are friendships. And I'm wondering, hmm, is that because of the money or because of now the newfound celebrity status? I'm talking about Doi and Adekunle. Now, these guys in the house, were not exactly friends or foes. They're just there, just there like left hand. They're just there, literally. And now, after the house, uh, Adekunle is basically saying, or they're both saying that they're now friends now. And and um, according to Doi, she's saying that she believed people's opinions of Adekunle and she believed those to be true, which is why she held certain um, biases against him. And that's why they couldn't be friends. But, 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 my people, if you remember the level of season, yeah, where Doi and Adekunle originally started out their Big Brother journey, you would notice that in the house, Doi and Adekunle had some sort of a friendship. A friendship that you could actually even call a ship in the house at the time now where that shape crashed i don't know all i know is that during the reunion there were plenty gas ghosts that were just landing back and forth and we don't know the origin of the origin but now <laughs> it looks like they're friends again and that makes me wonder where is chief mrs venita like what's happening now apparently we already know that adikale is saying adenita is no longer a ship that this is not a thing, this is a friendship, both of us are here to make our money and we're not collecting fan gifts, we're not doing anything that links us together as a ship. Now, does this mean that Venita is sort of, maybe, maybe not, kind of, just in case, being replaced by doing? I didn't say that, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pitballing, you know, we're having a conversation, right? Yeah, Yusef, think I'm. All right, let's go on to Adekole and Ilabaye. Now, Adekole and Ilabaye in the house, again, not very close, but he's saying now that they were friends even before the house. But if they were friends before the house, why was he letting all the things that Venita was saying to her just fly? I don't know, but you know, love can make people blind. You never know. All right, now, Cross and Pere, again, they started a bromance. It was looking good. They were friends before the house and in the house, then the Kimopra situation happened and it looked like that friendship hit the rocks. But they're now saying that Kim Opera, the person we think stunted the friendship, according to Pere, he's saying, oh, that wasn't actually the case, that she actually brought them together. She saved their friendship. Um, it, it took, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it took like a rose because, you know, before all of this stuff, it had always been three of us. It had always been cross liquors and myself he's saying that she saved their friendship but again i'm like but we watch this thing now <laughs> now let me just see we watch this thing anyway he's saying that after the house liquor rose actually brought them together made them you know made cross apologize to Pere for leaving him behind and you know not being a good friend and shout out to liquor rose i don't know but shout out to liquor rose finally sissy King of Spartans or Queen of Spartans because now the pronouns are a confused person. She is saying that she didn't 
actually realized that there was a narrative of Ilabaye being bullied in the house. Watch this. So I was very shocked when I came out of the house and I saw all of that narrative because it never happened. You can't say we bully somebody that we literally, you show her how she's drunk. We clean your vomit. Basically, what Susie is trying to say is that I did not know anything about anything concerning bullying. I never realized that Ilebaye was being bullied. <laughs> but if you remember, there was a fight she was having with, I think it was Pere, where she said, you cannot bully me, oh, I'm not by it that you can bully. And now I'm like, hmm, what happened to that? Didn't you know she was being bullied? But okay, if that's what you want us to believe. But we all know that they've come out of the house and everything now is all about reputation management. They're trying to get the brand deals. Everybody's trying to clear their name. Everybody is suddenly developing amnesia. I don't know what's happening, but I know it's linked to something that relates to, you know, brand deals and trying to keep their reputation clean. She also said that she owes Alex a conversation. Not an apology, it's conversation, she said. Only God knows what that conversation would sound like because judging from the way CC was in the house, conversation again, it can go both ways. But she's saying that she was just angry at Pere and, you know, Alex could let us dribble it, basically. Do you believe that? I don't, actually. But that's basically what has happened in the past week up till now. But we'll keep you updated as we always do. Remember to like, subscribe and share our post. This is so important because we want to hit 2K followers. Okay, people? Love ya. See you later.